Hi and welcome to Themeko. In this video, we are going to recall two characteristics related to vibrations that you may have already learned in elementary school. These characteristics are amplitude of vibration and phase shift. If you have a vague memory about these characteristics, like me, don't worry, we are going to go through each of them now. Sounds good? Let's get started. I believe in your childhood you must have played on a swing with your friends to compete and see which one of you could swing higher. So you may already know that a swing's motion is periodic by nature, because the swing is moving back and forth within certain time periods. This makes the swing's motion to behave like waves of oscillation. But what you may not know is that the highest point which the swing can reach is called the amplitude for which we usually use the abbreviation A. We can measure the magnitude of this amplitude by using a suitable quantity and proper unit, which in this case is the distance between the swing's equilibrium position and the furthest position. We could also use another quantity to measure amplitude, such as velocity of the swing, because its magnitude also changes while the swing is moving back and forth. In a moving swing, we usually find the amplitude of its velocity in its equilibrium position, because in that position, the potential energy of the swing has been converted completely to its kinetic energy. So as you can probably imagine, we can measure the amplitude in different kinds of phenomenon as long as they involve periodic motion. One such example from our mechanical engineering field could be pressure oscillations in hydraulic systems. These oscillations are usually caused when the hydraulic valve is closed too quickly that creates a hydraulic shock wave in the system which can be harmful to several components if the oscillation energy is not dissipated somewhere. For this purpose, we use dampeners to absorb the vibrational energy, reducing the amplitude of the pressure oscillations. Now that we have successfully recalled what is meant by amplitude of an oscillation wave, let's recall what is meant by the wave's phase by using the same swing example as before. But let's introduce one more swing into the mix to understand better what is meant by phase. Note that the swings are similar to each other so they will behave similarly when given the same push force. On the other hand, if this provided push force is delayed for the other swing, then the amplitudes of the two swings motion will not be aligned anymore. This misalignment of the amplitudes between similarly behaving oscillators is what we call a phase difference or more specifically, a phase shift denoted by the symbol phi. If one wave, like the green one here, is shifted to the right relative to the other wave, the blue one, then we can say that the shifted green wave has a positive phase shift. In case of the swings, depending on which swing we are comparing with respect to, the leading swing would have a positive shift, or the trailing swing would have a negative shift. Just like an oscillator's amplitude, we can measure the phase in numerous ways, such as in distance, time, or degrees. But in the engineering field, the most common way to measure phase is by using degrees. For instance, if we observe the motion of one swing, we could measure that the velocity of the swing has 90 degrees positive phase shift compared to the swing's position. Similarly, the acceleration and velocity also have another 90 degrees phase shift between them. And that's it. That was the most important information in a nutshell that you needed to know about amplitude and phase of vibrations. Hopefully by now you can recall what is meant by amplitude and phase and you also got familiar with some of the ways how these can be measured. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.